Did you know that you could start a fire with just your iPhone? Neither did I, but today I'm gonna test that and a bunch of other really cool, weird accessories. And while we're finding out, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, Squarespace. Ooh, first up in the parade of weirdness today, have you ever thought to yourself, wow, I really want a smartwatch, but I really just wanna carry my phone around with me all the time. Wow, this is pretty serious. It is 360 degrees rotatable. Look at this darn thing, that, uh, it's like a, a blood pressure cuff. If you ever had your blood pressure taken at the doctor's office, it's like that kind of a cuff. Oh, it smells like a doctor's office too. Not like a good doctor's office either. Look at this thing. <laughs> That's not a, what is mobile about this? This is gonna cut off circulation to my fingers. We could have it streamlined, right? Like this, if I wanted this to be like my pit boy from Fallout. But if I'm taking a call, boom, we just pop it into call direction. This is just so goofy. It's gonna suck to run in, but we'll give it a, we'll give it a fair honest shot over two miles. So I've got my Apple Watch. We'll do this too, and I'll be back in a second. Whew. Okay, we are back. Clearly we are not wearing the 360 degree wristband for the iPhone. Um, so I guess let's start with the negatives. One, it's incredibly uncomfortable. This might be one of the most uncomfortable things I've ever worn. Well, but I don't only wanna be negative about it. Uh, the positive, uh, the grip here did hold on really well. So throughout the entire run, it did not lose my phone, even though I really kind of expected my phone to not be held in by this because of how just poorly made this is and no i would not i would not suggest you get this one okay the next accessory look at this it's a neck strap like an extreme sport neck strap that you can take mountain biking it says it right here in the packaging and that's exactly like we're out here on my mountain bike trail that's exactly what we're gonna do so let's open it up so we got oh we made a big mess hold on take only pictures and leave only footprint can you see this right here you get a lot of stuff with it like you get the little gopro adapter you get the phone holder, which is what we will be using. Normally when I have GoPro chest straps, it's like a, a chest harness. This is like a plastic collar. That is, we okay, now we've gone back to like just shockingly weird stuff. Assembly is pretty easy. I cannot get over it that I'm gonna put a plastic, it looks like a, a dog collar. I'm gonna put a plastic dog collar around my neck as we go through this. Stylish fashion statement. Hopefully it's not ruining the audio because it's touching the microphone. Okay. Oh my goodness. Look, electric bikes are great, but they're heavy. They are heavy. The electric bike in the electric vehicle. It's like all the electricity. We're absolutely gonna lose this. There is no way that this makes it the whole way. This is the already, before we've started the ride, um, I already do not have any confidence in this mount. Okay, so quick ride. Not very long, just a few, uh, just about 20 minutes. It would never ever work on an actual trail. Uh, this thing, it barely stays on. We were on, what, an unpaved road and then a paved road, and I was seriously concerned about this falling off. I don't like this. It's already rubbing against my neck. I can feel it on my collarbone. Uh, the second you hit a real trail, none of this is gonna work. So let's head back to the house, let's check the footage, and then I'll give my overall like final summary on this weird just weird thing, man. Like this thing is so weird. <laughs> okay, and now we are back reviewing the footage and I'm still doing the POV shots. I'm addicted to doing the POV. Now you can see, look, this is me simulating for you what it's like to sit here and then view video and edit footage all day long. This is what it's like to be me. But how was the footage? It was bad. The footage was bad. Like you can see up here, uh, the way that the iPhone stabilizes footage, it has OIS, which is called optical image stabilization. The lens inside of here moves around a little bit, and that's fine when you're doing big cameras like my Sony here or my Lumix camera, or when you're doing handheld stuff. But when you're doing a lot of action stuff, you see all these weird warps and all this weird like shaking to the footage. It's just not good, and so no, ugh. I do not like this dog collar. Thanks to today's sponsor, Squarespace, you can create your own very beautiful website. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a professional website, online store, or portfolio. It's easy to claim a domain slash URL, create a custom site that matches your style, and bring your ideas to life. Head on over to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, head over to squarespace.com slash everydaydad to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Okay, the next weird accessory we're gonna check out is actually probably the most uniquely usefully weird thing that we've seen so far. This is a pop socket with like a knife slash multi-tool inside of it. Look how crazy this thing is. Pop socket, SOG, pop grip, multi-tool. 
I really like the thought of maybe having a screwdriver, maybe having a can opener with me at all times. And if it's just built into like my phone's case, well then that makes an awful lot of sense. That is, I mean, it is very metal. It definitely, can you hear this? That is a solid piece of metal. See, we've got a hex driver. It's got a can opener, like a little bit of a sharp edge here. And then it's a little screwdriver right here at the end. Okay, first up. Okay, well, it worked pretty well. It didn't exactly cut it, um, but it definitely tore open that bag. Had to get some uh, some more soldering for all the keyboard builds we've been doing. We've been going through a lot of solder recently. This has turned into an unboxing video of a bunch of other stuff, but that worked pretty darn well. Um, you don't need like a razor sharp thing to do that. I really like that. I like that a lot. Hopefully it'll work. We've got another keyboard because apparently all I get delivered to me are keyboards anymore. <laughs> did, you, did you see that? It's so like, it's not sharp enough to really cut through the tape, but it is like dense enough that it just ripped through the, uh, the cardboard instead of the tape. I think that's, I think that's pretty funny. I got a new light dome for my garage studio. Last and certainly not least. That worked really well that time. Had to buy a new light to go with the new light dome. But how does it work with like, how does the screwdriver work? So this is my latest camera that I've been using. If you saw the mountain bike section, it was recorded on this. It can get the base plate off pretty well, but I don't think it's gonna work. Yeah, it's just not gonna fit in there. So I'm still gonna need a screwdriver for that, but it might come in handy just for little things like this. Oh, I already hate this. Look at this. I get it. It's a, they're, they're trying to do a lot with a little, but like, Man, that takes up, that's gonna take up so much space in my pocket. I think I would like this a little better if it was like integrated into a case. So like a case with this little tool built into it. I mean, I get this kind of like a stand. I don't know. I don't know about that. For the next accessory, have you ever got done playing a game on your phone and then wished you could play a game not on your phone? Well, that's what this next uh, really weird accessory looks to do. This is the classic nostalgic game cell phone shelve. I really uh, am kind of, kind of excited about this. It also comes with a screen protector, which is kind of cool. I did not expect to get a, uh, a glass screen protector. So not only does this play games, this is like a full stack iPhone system. You can see it's got a little speaker here uh, for the audio. It's got a nice cutout for the camera system and it is upside down. So you'll have to turn it over, I believe. So let's set this. That doesn't end up adding too much overall heft to the, uh, the iPhone 13 Pro Max. It's already a quite big phone uh, to begin with. The plastic, it's not great. It's not the, the highest quality uh, plastic. Let's check out and see how high resolution the uh, the games are gonna get played in. Wow, that sounds... That speaker, can you hear that? We get Super Contra, Super Mario Brothers, Tetrissa. Can you... Tetrissa? We won't go through every one of these. Let's check out Super Contra because that's the game that it had on its case. We are gonna have to turn off the audio because I don't really want to get a copyright claim from Nintendo for this, so I almost started doing the, the noises and it's like, well, no, you can't because uh, then you're going to get in trouble. Okay, boom, boom, boom. And it's really hard if you're playing Contra, uh, because of the size of this, it's really hard to see like the uh, the bullets from the bad guys. Super Contra is pretty easy at the beginning, but the overall difficulty ramps up. There's such a huge difficulty spike. The spread comes later. Like, if you know anything about Nintendo Contra, you will know that spread is the best weapon of the game. Like, I mean, I've got the machine gun now, which is nice, because you don't have to constantly press the button, but spread. Oh, there's another machine gun. Here we go. Oh, no, I'm gonna die. Ah, oh, they got me. Oh, I love regular Mario Brothers. The controls are not great. Okay, the controls are not great. Testing out uh, the weirdness of the device. It's just weird and kind of, oh, and I suck. It's just kind of crazy overall that I'm playing a game uh, that was a big defining game of my childhood and I just died. But I'm playing it on the back of my iPhone. Because there's my iPhone, there's Mario Brothers. iPhone, Mario Brothers. For the next accessory, have you ever thought to yourself, wow, I love taking video with my phone, but the light is never good. Well, good news, we have a, look at this crazy thing. This is the Selfie Mini from Little with a backwards L. I think the craziest part of it is the Little with the backwards L. Boom. Okay, in the box, we get Let Your Light Shine. That's inspirational. Thank you, Little. We have a micro USB to USB cable. Who would have imagined that? Does it turn on or do we gotta charge it first? Ooh, okay. There we go. Look at how bright that is. Oh, that is, 
fairly bright. Uh, look at how bright. That is shockingly bright for a, a selfie camera. Let's actually, let's turn off the lights and see how good it works. Okay, so we still do have the light back there, but like how well does this work and how well is it color balanced? Because not only do you need lights that look good, but they also have to kind of be color balanced or it's going to throw everything off. That is substantially brighter than the iPhone's little flashlight. Which is impressive, I guess. It's so bright, it's giving me those little dots in your eyes, you know, when you can't see anything. Okay, turn it off. And here's a selfie without it. Yeah, I mean, well, if you're going to be in a situation like this where the lighting is set up for a different camera, uh, you can kind of see that the shadows don't work as well. But the lighting uh, is much more even when you can blast it right in your face, so I'm impressed. You throw this in a bag just to add a little bit of a key light. I think this is not the worst thing that we've checked out so far today. It's weird, but it's not bad. I don't think bad and weird necessarily mean the same thing. And here are some other miscellaneous ones that I couldn't, they didn't get their own like specific little setting, like I didn't need to run with them or anything like that. So this is a phone case that looks like a phone. Uh, how weird is that? Like, look at this thing. Oh, it's so gross. Like this plastic is just like the grossest feeling plastic. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's got a space for the camera. Like, why would you buy this? Like, hello, I'm talking on my phone, except my phone's actually over here. You're trying to trick somebody out. Is this like a trick play where you're you're talking on your phone just so that so people think you're crazy? Like, is this part of an insanity plea? Like, this is the we of all the accessories I think we've checked out today. Uh, this is the weirdest one because I just do not understand why somebody would buy this. Like, I can understand. Hey, maybe you need a lighter. Hey, maybe you need a mobile tool. Hey, maybe you're trying to do like POV action shots and you just, if you would buy this, let me know in the comments because I do not understand this. Okay, the next one, this is actually the thing that caused me to make this video in the first place. This is a cable bite cable organizer and it's just a little duck. Like I thought this was the cute, it looks like it's a duck that I guess is supposed to look like it's puking up my lightning cable. Look at this thing. I understand this because this is adorably weird. That, I just don't understand that. <laughs> I love it. It's so weird that like, I love it. I have no, I don't understand what this is supposed to do. It just says cable bite cable accessory for iPhone. Just decorate and it's there to decorate and protect the cable. Well, it does it. That's so weird. I will be using this from now on because that's the most adorably weird accessory that we've checked out so far today. Look, that, that is so adorable. Okay, we've got a the thinnest phone stand and grip. Well, we've tried some other phone stands and grips today. Let's see if the thinnest one is any better. Okay, I see what they're doing here. Okay, okay, all right. They don't put it very well in the instructions. You're supposed to push this little back thing, push it in, and now you have a little stand. So let's here. How would this work for the phone itself though? So you pop it open and then what you've got like a grip. Okay, I can kind of see that. I can understand this a little bit. You set it down then uh, if you need a stand and you got a little handhold if you ever want it. I, you know what? I would use this before I would use that pop socket because at least when I put this in my pocket, it's not taking up so much space. And this is definitely would be a fidget thing that, you know what, I could never have this on my phone because I would do this all day long and I would get in trouble because people would be like, Gary, stop making all those noises. Okay, this one I can see being useful. Now the reason I got this one was just how small it was. This one I got because it said it was the thinnest, which I think it's kind of weird just being the thinnest. This one is supposed to be the smallest. So how does it work? So it works essentially the same way except it doesn't have the tension. Instead of being a cool fidget toy, you just open it up and there you go. You've got your kickstand, which I actually like this. I bought one of my very first ever smartphones, the HTC Evo, because it had a kickstand built into it. And you don't think that's useful, but it becomes very useful when you're kind of shamming at work and you're watching YouTube all day instead of working at your computer. This was what, 10, 12 years ago? So it's a little too late to fire me now, but uh, I do not hate this. I like these two stands way more than I like the pop socket. Ooh, okay, and now we come to probably the most dangerous of all the weird accessories that we're testing out today. This is an iPhone lighter. It doesn't chemically start fires like, you know, a regular lighter. It sets it up like an old car lighter where it has a super hot coil uh, that does it. So let's see uh, what kind of craziness we get in here. So in the box, we get an instruction manual. We have the USB charging port, so it does charge via USB. 
LED indicator light, a hot flue, and a slide ignition. Now you get a micro USB to USB-A cable, and that's pretty much it. And then we have, look at this small thing. It, it does have like a little built-in kickstand. So if you wanna use this as like a pop socket, you can, but look at that, it's not very good. It has adhesive here on the back to stick to your phone. So let's see how well that works. Okay, it is now on my phone. How does the kickstand work? Not great. Here's how you do it. You pull the kickstand out and then you pull this down. And when it's all the way down, can you see that? It gets like super hot and then we'll light your cigarette for you. Now, I don't smoke, so I brought a piece of cardboard out here to see if it was hot enough uh, to work there. Oh my goodness, it is hot enough to burn this cardboard. I never thought I'd be able to start a fire with my iPhone. Of all the, th we've checked out some pretty crazy things today. This is the, the most dangerous of all the things I think we've checked out today. Uh, and I will not be keeping this next to my phone because one of the things that I imagine is not super safe is keeping something that can start fires next to your lithium ion battery, which I don't know if you know this about lithium ion batteries, but they're not the safest things on the planet. So cool, crazy little contraption, uh, not something that I would probably recommend. And if you like this video, click here to watch us buy the absolute cheapest MacBook we could find on Amazon. Click, 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 click. Thanks for watching.